Have you ever been relaxing on the beach when all of a sudden a strong gust of wind comes and blows away your snacks, towels, or even your umbrella? Today we're on the island of Palm Beach, only minutes away from our very own South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. And today we'll be answering the question of why exactly it gets so windy on the beach. Welcome back to another virtual science short. My name's Josh, and today we're gonna to figure out exactly why the beach gets so windy. You may notice that during the day, the wind tends to blow from the ocean onto the shore of the beach. These winds normally help cool you off, but sometimes they can even blow away some of your belongings. But have you also noticed that the sand on the beach is way hotter during the day than the temperature of the ocean is? That hot sand and cooler ocean water coming together is actually what causes those windy conditions that you feel on the beach. So where exactly do these winds come from? To answer that question, we're gonna carry out an experiment in our very own lab at the Science Center that you at home can follow along to. Before we get started with our experiment, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to follow along with more experiments just like this one. So the first thing we'll need to do is, is start gathering some of our materials. So. Our materials list includes some sand, a pot, a wooden spoon, a lighter, an incense stick, two glass baking dishes, a hot plate or a stove, cardboard box, some ice water, and the help of an adult. Our first step will be heating up the sand in our pot to mimic the hot sand that you find on a summer day at the beach. With the help of an adult, Heat up the sand until it becomes very hot to the touch. Use a wooden spoon to stir the sand and heat it evenly so that all parts of the sand get the same amount of heat from the pot. Once the sand is hot, place it into one of the glass baking dishes. Then we will fill our second baking dish with ice water. Feel the temperature of the ice water with your fingers and compare it to that of the hot sand. Let's now put our baking dishes next to each other and place our cardboard box around the dishes to minimize any external airflow, which just means we don't want any outside air to affect our experiment. With the help of an adult, you will now use a lighter to light your incense stick, which will begin to billow smoke, which just means that it'll be filling up with smoke. Hold the incense stick between your two baking dishes just for about a minute, and I'd like you to observe the movement of the smoke and which way it appears to be blowing. So, the hot sand in your experiment represents the sand on the beach, while the ice water represents the cooler ocean. The wind blew from the direction of the ice water towards the hot sand. This is because the air above the hot sand starts to rise as the sand heats up, causing an area of low pressure. Low pressure means that the air above the sand is less dense than the surrounding air, so it rises. The air above the cold water starts to sink as the water cools it down, causing an area of high pressure. High pressure means that the air above the water is more dense than surrounding air, so it sinks. To balance out this difference in pressures, wind is created. The wind pushes the air from the high pressure zone to the low pressure zone, and your incense stick allowed you to see that process happen in real time. This is the exact process that happens at the beach. Wind blows from the zone of high pressure above the ocean, to the zone of low pressure above the sand, creating a sea breeze. So next time you're at the beach and a strong gust of wind hits you in the face, you could just blame it on earth science. <laughs> 